join me in singing the national anthem. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes had bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible. class of 2020. I'll say that again. Good morning and welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Charles Pace High School class of 2020. In the era of coronavirus, murder hornets, and Saharan dust clouds, what's a little mic problem, right? <laughs> it's been a long, unusual journey to get here, and we all made it. Phew. We could spend a long time looking back on the events of the last several months that brought us here today, caused schools to close, and caused these seniors to miss out on a fourth of their senior year. But honestly, I think we're all over that. And I think personally, I'm ready just to celebrate these 435 members of the class of 2020. These students are more prepared for the trials and tribulations of adulthood than any other class in our history because of the hardships that they have already endured. These graduates will have a story to tell their children and grandchildren a story of frustration and disappointment in the beginning, ending with new strength and unity because of things that they have gone through together. Congratulations, graduates. You are a class for the ages, and none of us will ever, remember, will ever forget any of you. <laughs> Just a few people I need to thank before we get to the recognition of the graduates. My counseling, administrative, and office staff have been creative, resourceful, and persistent in making this event happen. You know, when you have a job to do around the house, you have two choices. You can either pay for somebody else to do it, or you can do all the work yourself and do it at home. And that's what we've chosen to do this year. We felt like we had a better chance of pulling off a quality graduation and observe some social distancing for these young people if we did it here in-house, and that's what we've done. So like you graduates, my team 
has overcome a great deal of adversity and made the event, this event today happen. And I'm very thankful how they have dug in, hung in there, and changed the way that we've done graduation for years and made today possible. So please indulge me as I thank my assistant principals, Tim Ray and Ryan Biven. <laughs> Counselors Sandy Franklin, Kendra Roulette, and Megan Elliott. <laughs> my office staff, Karen James, Carrie Carpenter, Bridget Beard, Kathy Burge, Stephanie Talley, and Sherry Painter. Michael Bynum, his entire crew, Randy Evans and Jason Anderson, my ag teachers for everything that is you see here on the stage. And thank you to Andrea Bays for printing and technical support. Thank you also to the Charles Page High School faculty who are seated here amongst us, and indeed to all of the teachers who may be with, with us here today who have played such an important role in bringing these graduates to this time and in this place. I would also like to thank Superintendent of Schools Sherry Durkee and the members of the Sand Springs Board of Education, Bo Noggle, Whitney Wagers, Mike Mullins, Rusty Gunn, and Jackie Wagnon for their unwavering support of these students and all of our efforts on their behalf. <laughs> Enough of that, because the real stars today are these graduates, the Charles Page High School Class of 2020. Right. You know, this class takes its place proudly among all of the graduates of, who have walked this path prior to them. They are a uniquely talented and motivated group, and I cannot wait to witness all of the great things that they will accomplish in their bright futures. Here's an impressive statistic that I'm confident that no other high school in the state of Oklahoma can claim. Of the 435 members of this graduating class, 423 of them completed a senior capstone experience by earning college credit, through concurrent enrollment or advanced placement exams, completing advanced technical training at Tulsa Tech or through, through a CTE program, or by serving a work internship in a selected career pathway. These guys are ready for the world ahead of them, and almost all of them have already taken the first bold steps into the world of college and careers. Please allow me to recognize just a few extraordinary accomplishments. The State Department of Education's highest award for high school seniors is Oklahoma Academic Scholar. An Oklahoma Academic Scholar has a 3.7 or higher unweighted GPA and a 27 or higher ACT score. I'm so pleased that we have 30 Oklahoma Academic Scholars in this graduating class. <clears throat> if you are an Oklahoma academic scholar, please rise to be recognized. You can be seated. The right side is heavy, smart, looks like. <clears throat> the highest academic honor that we award at Charles Page High School is the award of the honor graduate. An honor graduate at Charles Page High School is quite simply a high school student who has done everything that we could have asked of them. These are the students who are wearing the gold medals around their necks tonight. These students have a 4.0 or higher GPA. They have completed a four, four by four rigorous curriculum required to take at least one AP level course each of their four years of high school. And they have completed a significant community service requirement during high school as well. It is my privilege to introduce our honored graduates, and as we do not recognize a salutatorian or valedictorian, this is our highest academic honor, so please allow me to introduce them individually. When I call your name, please stand and remain standing until all of the honor graduates in this group have been announced. Jasper Adams. <laughs> Natalie Anderson. Erica Baker, Madison Burris, Victoria Baker, Sydney Dunn, 
Mackenzie Harris, Seth Jones, Chesney Kelly, Kiefer Massey, Logan Nichols, Alex Ross, Emily Schleyhuber, Kale Snowden, Haley Stuckey, Julia Wolf, Vanessa Wyrick, and Devery Youngblood. Congratulations on our graduates. And finally, oh, you can be seated. See, that's how good these guys are. They don't do anything until we tell them to. They follow directions well. Great job. Finally, as is our tradition at Charles Page High School, please rise if you have made the decision to serve our, our country in the United States Armed Forces. And now, Superintendent of Schools, Sherry Durkee, will address the graduates, followed by honor graduate speakers, Erica and Victoria Baker, and Emily Schleyhuber. Good morning, seniors of 2020. Good morning, that sounds really crazy. Um, I'm proud of you today. My journey as superintendent started in Sand Springs when you began your high school adventure as freshmen. And what an adventure it has begun, be, how, what a, an adventure it has been. When you were at Central Ninth Grade Center, Center, some of you staged a walkout in protest of school violence. As sophomores, some of you stood beside your teachers in a walkout to support our education system for 10 solid days, making a turning point for education in the state of Oklahoma. As juniors, you experienced a tragic flood that stole the homes of some of your classmates and others in our community and ended the school abruptly last year. Many of you served to clean up in that flood, aiding your friends and neighbors in our great city. This year, as seniors, you are in the midst of experiencing the COVID-19 pandemic. Learning how to handle abrupt changes as we learn to maneuver this current situation. All the while, you were steadfast in completing the requirements of this momentous occasion, graduation from Charles Page High School. I commend you for your strength, your tenacity, your courage, your perseverance, and your positive spirit through it all. There is no doubt that you are ready for what is to come. There will be more challenges in your life. What you have learned beyond the curriculum in the classroom will serve you well. Remember always to keep your minds challenged, your heart inspired, and allow lifelong learning to empower you. Mostly, inspire hearts and you will inspire the world. Congratulations. Good morning, seniors of 20, this is the wrong speech. <laughs> Sorry guys, <laughs> I knew that looked a little wonky. <laughs> okay, redo, pretend that didn't happen. Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today as we celebrate the graduates of 2020. Our 13 year marathon is over. For those of you who don't know us, my name is Erica. I thought I was gonna be Erica. No, we talked about this at home. I'm no, Erica. I'm, I'm, okay. It's okay. fine, it's fine. I guess that means I'm Victoria, 
This is probably why so many people refer to us as the twins. I'm sure many of you thought we might not be here today, whether that be from Corona stopping a gathering of this large, or maybe you just weren't doing too hot in one of your classes. All that really matters is that we're here tonight to celebrate our accomplishments over the past four years and to celebrate the start of a new race that many of us may find to be exciting yet challenging. The last four years, we proudly raced in Sandite Black and Gold and raced alongside our teammates who became more than just faces in a yearbook. They became our friends and family. Being a part of a team has taught us how to be involved, how to be leaders, and how to enjoy every step of the race, no matter how hard it seems, because amidst the difficulties, Sandites will always be there. It's through teamwork that our student body raises money every year for Special Olympics. We're there for each other when we need help on our chemistry homework or just need a friend to talk to. Sandites work as a team to host school dances and win state championships. But we're more than just a team. We're a community and a family on and off the field. I know throughout my academic as well as athletic career, I would have not succeeded with the accomplishments I have without the unconditional support of my friends and family, coaches and teachers. <laughs> teachers and family, we would like to thank you for your guidance and encouragement throughout our years. Without you, many of us would not be here tonight. For all of us, there's that one special person that impacted you and helped you. Think of that person and remember them and to thank them after we are gone. They deserve it. For me, that special, oh, for me, that special mentor was my cross-country coach. In eighth grade, I started running track, and for some reason, I ran the 400. Um, and I can tell you now, I'm not a sprinter. Mm -mm, no. um, so at one of my track meets, an old man wearing a bucket hat and a stopwatch around his neck came up to me after my race and said two things. One, to try ri running the mile next me, and two, he wanted me to come join the high school cross-country team next year. And frankly, I was just excited that I was talking to the mayor of Sand Springs. I just joined because I didn't want to ride the bus home anymore. <laughs> Anyways, I joined cross country and I instantly fell in love with running. No matter what happened throughout my running career, Papa Burge was there. And I have no doubt that I will always be able to count on him to give me an inspirational speech when I'm feeling down. Just as many of you went to your favorite teacher. I once complained about having to do hill repeats over there, and everybody knows that hill is huge. But Burge told me, Erica, you'll never know what it's like to run the high grounds unless you run the hills. And in life, I found that to be true. Coach Burge, you're an inspiration to me to be a better teammate, Christian, runner, and just overall to be a better person. I'll be lucky to have a coach like you in college. I just want to let all of the coaches and teachers here know that we notice everything you do for us, such as letting us eat lunch in your classrooms, buying us breakfast before a long drive to an early meet, always keeping cool water for us to drink during the hottest days, and even helping us in our homework during a meet or a game. We notice it, and we wouldn't be the athletes or students we are without you. We all have special moments and memories with one teacher who put in a little extra effort to see us succeed. Not all of us have a coach who made a special impact in our life, but everyone has a teacher, a friend, or a family member who helped you to become the person you are today. From the lunch ladies who work every day to make sure we have the necessary food needed for our day, to our counselors who pick us up when we need a little pep talk, to our teachers who educate us regarding not only school but life lessons that we will cherish forever. They help all Sandites prepare and win races every day. Like Erica, I would also like to thank my coaches. This year was one crazy ride for many of us, and you guys were always there for me. From scheduling senior photos to wiping my tears away, you guys have always had my best interests at heart. Off the track, however, it is family who pushes us to make the decisions we choose to make. True family will always be there for you, no matter how annoying or frustrating they may be. <laughs> Parents, grandparents, aunts, and uncles, thank you all for your patience, unending love, and support. We know you all spent countless hours working the concession stands, raising money through fundraisers, helping your student with homework, and putting our own needs before your own. My beautiful mother once told me to be the best you could be in life and not to worry about competing with anyone else. Graduates of 2020, as you set out on your new race, I tell you the same thing. 
Compete with no one, but strive to be the best you and shine. What matters most is that we continue to move forward and never stop learning. As a cross-country runner, I've learned a course is marked with flags. Runners can't choose to cut corners or shorten the race. They must run the path that is marked out for them. Sometimes it can be hard to keep moving forward when it seems you're in last place. But remember, in the race of life, you are your only competitor. Run your race at your own pace. At the 1968 Olympics, an hour after the men's marathon winner limped across the finish line, Tanzania's John Stephen Aquari limped across the finish line, injured in a fall early on in the race. <laughs> when asked why he didn't quit, he said, my country didn't send me 7,000 miles to start this race. My country sent me to finish. Sometimes your life, similar to a race, may be filled with pain, but lead on those around you and finish strong. The course is marked for you, and as you run your race, strive to make a difference in someone's life, just as our teachers and family did in our own. Together, we must help each other finish the race and never stop running towards your dreams. Congratulations, class of 2020. We finished the race. Like many of you, my entire life I have grown up in the Sand Springs School District. From a young age, we are taught the answer to a question on most people's minds that don't live in Sand Springs. What even is a Sandite? The only proper answer to this question is that a Sandite is the person you want to be. Now this answer usually comes with a confused stare and an awkward laugh or two, but that doesn't change the fact that it's true. But what does that mean? What characteristics make up the person you want to be? The first characteristic that comes to mind when I think about the kind of person that you want to be is someone that cares for others more than themselves. I hope the class of 2020 would agree with me when I say that we felt so celebrated this year despite the fact that the school year did not end the way any of us had planned. The school staff and teachers are the epitome of caring for others more than themselves, and it felt like each day there was something new planned in order to celebrate us. And all of these new events were on top of what everyone was already doing. But it didn't seem to matter how busy everyone was because they cared about us and making us feel special. So, thank you for caring about our memories and our happiness. Who knew that a cap and gown pickup line could be so much fun? Another quality of a Sandite is someone who is kind. They see the needs of others and they meet them, often without having to be asked or getting anything in return. Over the last two years, our school has launched a philanthropy week where we raise money for charitable causes. Each year, we are humbled and amazed as we watch students donate their last dollars or their lunch money to those who are less fortunate. If that isn't kindness in its truest form, I don't know what is. Another characteristic is someone that goes above and beyond what is expected. We are often the underdogs, but never count out the Sandites because that hasn't stopped us from making it to the state tournament or raising $17,000 for Gold Week this year. This year, we had to get really creative to raise money for Gold Week when everything had to go online, but we discovered a pretty awesome boy band which it, within the faculty of CPHS. One of the best parts about being a Sandite is the tight-knit community that is always rallying behind us. It was beyond powerful to look into the stands each Friday night and see the bleachers full of black and gold, no matter how far we had traveled. Whether we won or lost, we always knew that our fans would be cheering us on all the way home. Another quality of the person that you want to be is strong, or as Mr. Trout likes to say, Sandite tough. Whether it's coming to school despite the freezing temperatures or working on an essay next to a wrecking ball, Sandites are strong and no one can convince me otherwise. Flexibility is another characteristic of the person that you want to be, someone who can go with the flow and still execute at a high level. This school year was a prime example of flexibility, but it was not the only one that fit into that category. Throughout the three years we have spent at Charles Page, we never had a full spring semester. Our sophomore year had a break in the middle for the teacher walkout, but that did not stop us from finishing the year strong and getting caught up on missed instruction. Our junior year, we missed the final two days of school, but hey, that was finals week, so I don't think anyone was really complaining. 
And then this year, senior year, we lived through a global pandemic. But here we are at graduation, finishing what we started 13 years ago in kindergarten. When we started school all those years ago, we never really imagined that it would end this way. We started as fun and energetic kids on the playground with the same 50 kids that we had known our whole lives. Then eventually we made it to the middle school where all of a sudden we were surrounded by 400 kids who all liked to argue about which elementary school was the best. Eventually, these new kids became our best friends and we couldn't imagine life without them. Through high school, we all made memories that we're going to miss, whether it's cheering on the sidelines, marching on the football field, chanting in the locker room before the big game, spending hours at the FFA barn or preparing for the spring musical. High school was a big part of our lives. Now we sit here with each other for the last time and we realize that high school was nothing like high school musical. I mean, come on, we never broke out into song and dance in the middle of the cafeteria. In reality, some parts of high school were hard, but because of that, we have all blossomed into caring, kind, hardworking, strong, and flexible young adults ready to take on the world after high school. So whether the next step in your journey is college, the workforce, or the military, just know that you are prepared. And as Mr. Trout says, you can go anywhere from Charles Page High School. So what is a Sandite? A Sandite is you and me and anyone that knows that the joy of life is in the journey. A Sandite is the person you want to be. Thank you. Today marks the successful culmination of 13 years of school for these graduates. That's 13 years of lessons, quizzes and tests, class projects, school lunches, locker combinations, passing periods, field trips, bathroom breaks and roll calls. It's more than just academics, it's been your lives. It's pep assemblies and games, it's school plays and assemblies, it's practices, rehearsals and dances. It's growing up together and sharing life's triumphs and tragedies. And now you're here, the final ceremony marking the end, the completion of your final year of high school. Each of you is unique and had a unique experience at Charles Page High School. We are going to pause for just a moment. We have a medical emergency in the, in the audience, so we're going to let the, um, the medical team do their part, so please be patient with us. Graduates, just stay seated. We're almost there, so let's let the, the EMTs do their job and just relax. Unzip your robe if necessary, and we'll resume the ceremony as soon as that's complete.
If you guys don't mind, I'd like your attention. Um, I'm just going to, um, real quick, while we're paused, just uh, take a second to pray for um, this person in need. Dear Heavenly Father, um, I just come before you with... Um, my class of graduates, God, and I pray that um, as our ceremony has been put to a pause, that you just um, take over this moment, God, and just um, touch the hearts of these students that are going through this time, God, and um, just tug on their hearts, Lord, right now, and just let them know how happy and lucky that they should be. God, I pray with the person that is hurting right now, and I pray that you just heal them immensely, because we know that you're the ultimate healer, God. And just in everything, God, I pray that you just um, let us give you all the glory. Amen. Thank you. You know, Emily Schleyhuber in her remarks asked the time-honored question, what is a Sandite? That's what a Sandite is. Um, when we first started planning for this event, I was skeptical as to how many students and how many families would want to participate in an outdoor ceremony late in the summer and look at this crowd and look at the way that this community turns out for the schools. When I called Life Touch Photography to get a photographer this, for this event, the person there told me that if this were Broken Arrow High School or Union High School, I would not send a photographer because we would sell maybe 20 packets. But your school will sell 500. <laughs> and that's who we are. We are So enough said about that, and thank you all for your patience as we made sure that everyone was safe and healthy. So I'm just going to start this last part all over again. Today marks the successful culmination of 13 years of school for these graduates. That's 13 years of lessons, quizzes, tests, class projects, school lunches, locker combinations, passing periods, field trips, bathroom breaks, and roll calls. It's more than just academics. It's been your life for 13 years. It's pep assemblies and games, it's school plays and assemblies, it's practices, rehearsals, and dances. It's growing up together and sharing life's joys and life's tragedies together. And now you're here, the final ceremony marking the end, the completion of your final year of high school. Each of you is unique, and each of you has had a unique experience at Charles Page High School. Each of you leaves a mark upon each of us that only you could make. We are proud of you and we will miss you. Make me a promise. Promise me that today will not be the high point of your life. Today's pretty cool, granted. 
but promise me that you will not peak at high school graduation. Promise me that you will go forward from this day and achieve great things as professionals, as mothers and fathers, as husbands and as wives, as citizens and as neighbors and as friends. Live lives of service and achievement. Leave the world a better place because you are in it. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, take care of this country, and take care of this planet. Always be proud of where you have come from, be proud of being a Sandite, but joyfully and completely explore the wide world that lies before you. Are you ready to receive your diplomas? <laughs> Class of 2020, please rise. Teachers, if you would like to form a no-contact hug line on either side of the walkway in the center, we, you're welcome to do so. We would encourage you to do so. On behalf of the Oklahoma State Department of Education, the Oklahoma Board of Education, the Sand Springs Board of Education, the Faculty and Administration of Charles Page High School, I hereby certify that these candidates have completed the requirements for high school graduation and shall receive their diplomas from Charles Page High School. All but the first row on either, either side, please be seated. Mr. Ray and Mr. Biven, please bring forward the first group of graduates. Okay. Jordan Ray Lass. Kylie Marie Silvestri. Corbin Wayne Williams. Jordan McKenzie Woodridge. Joseph Meyer Nelson. Carl Lee McLaughlin. Jonah Britt Banker. Aaron Michael Rigsby. Austin Bailey Smith. Mallory Jordan Martin. Parker James Shipman. Seth Allen Jones. Sydney Ann Dunn. Caitlin Dawn Watson. Natalie Paige Anderson. Jason Austin Garrett Greer. Kiefer Wayne Massey. Savannah Nicole Hunter. Jasper Silas Adams. Yeah. Hannah Alexis Coe. Tatum Ray Waity. Preston Kane Medlin. Alex Dakota Ross. Jared Lance Jenkins. Pearson Avery Volsters. Kelsey Ann Watkins. Jonas Hager Wattenberger. Jacob Guy Hannafin. James Robert Berry. Sarah Isabella Rigsby. Jonathan Adriano Dimas. Serenity Avalon Rose Reader. 
Ryan Jacob Daniel Lindquist. Brian Eugene Spencer. Christopher Lee Lejeune. Lonnie Lou Mills the second. Christian Michael Jackson. Mackenzie Scott Rodman. Kaya May Forbes. Spencer Montgomery O'Brien. Alexander James Hendricks. Hayden Nicholas Baker. Nathaniel Jack Mabry. Cody James Ross. Julia Marie Wolf. Dalton Preston Britton. Chesney Lynn Kelly. Devon Mose Richardson. Morgan Jade Paletic. Mackenzie Grace Harris. Kaylee Don Nicole O'Brien. Vanessa Ann Wyrick. Amber Don Hurt. Devery Hope Youngblood. Sean Edward Bressett Jr. Cody Levi Clark. Sonia Hummingbird Scott. John Alexander Inks. Serenity Nicole Weir. Denver Lane Pope. Boy Eugene Canmore. Gavin Lee Caleb Lamb. Gage Ryan Floyd. Nathan Lee Brooks. Austin Leo Amen. Zachary Michael White. Chloe Cheyenne Finney. Noah Christopher James. Nicholas Kiwan Churchill. Candace Michelle Rice. Autumn Rose Maderos. Callie Nicole Rice. Augustus Parker Johnson. Jaylee Monet Williams. Corbin Alexander Palacios. Tatum Renee Denton.
Chloe Jade Pensenault. Kendall Marie Pearson. Destiny Faye Hamilton. Jordan Rayan Pearson. Sandira Belen Garcia. Jarrett Lee Allen Haley. McKenna Reese Skaggs. Hunter Grant Rotrammel. Gunner Ashton Dakota McGriff. Trace Lee Evans. Casey Cheyenne York. Nicholas Everett Hancock. Avery Danielle Wallace. Joshua Dell Bencannon. Victoria Joyce Mutiri. Madison Taylor Burris. Adrian Elizabeth Sarasua. Jaden Marie White. Ari Esparza. Dulcy Nicole Sewell. Luke Christian Billingsley. Zoe Nicole Baker. Caden Ryan. Parker Blakely Scott Staten Thomas Garrett Rogers Bryant Sosa Evan Daniel Crow James Albert McCrary Whitney Olivia Wheeler Clifton Burt Tarver Shante Andrea Seals Haley Dawn Stuckey Colin James Brady Vanessa and Orade Monina Alex Joseph Peterson Henderson. Kendriana Nicole Dewey. Colton Hunter Lolly. Jada Leilani Ann Colbert. Kale 
Ryan Snowden. Hayden Christopher King. Logan Allen Nichols. Trevor Austin Duty. Makaya Leslie Harvey. Madeline Christine Hux. And Tony Renee Winford. Good morning, Sandites. I have missed you. Uh, this is truly one of the great honors of my life to get to address the graduates every year, um, knowing that you have filled my heart with so many lessons, uh, and I get to share with you. Um, it is a tremendous honor to be part of this faculty and to be part of this Sandai family. It is a tremendous honor to represent this community. Now, would you guys like to hear a story? A mother held her new baby Let's call this baby Jason. And she very slowly rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she held Jason, she sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. The baby grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was two years old. We'll call this two-year-old Kiefer. He ran all around the house. He pulled all the books off the shelves. He pulled all the food out of the refrigerator. And he took, it, he took his mother's watch and flushed it down the toilet. Sometimes his mother would say, this kid is driving me crazy. But at nighttime, when Kiefer was quiet, she opened the door to Kiefer's room, crawled across the floor, looked up over the side of his bed, and if he was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked Kiefer, she sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby will be. The little boy grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was nine years old. And we'll call this nine-year-old Hunter. He never wanted to come in for dinner because he was fishing. 
He never wanted to take a bath. And when grandma visited, he always said bad words. Probably learned that from his uh, leadership teacher. Sometimes his mother wanted to sell him to the zoo. But at nighttime, when Hunter was asleep, the mother quietly opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of the bed. And if he was really asleep, she picked up that nine-year-old Hunter and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked Hunter, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. The boy grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a teenager. And we'll call that teenager Devon. He had strange friends. And he wore strange clothes. And he did super heroic things like jumping over Captain Sandite to throw down a thunderous dunk. Twice. His mother knew that she was in for it. But at nighttime, when Devon was asleep, the mother opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of his bed. And if Devon was asleep, she picked up that great big boy and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked Devon, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. The teenager grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a grown-up man. And we'll call that grown-up man Spencer. Some might call him Daddy-O. He left home and got a house across town. But sometimes on dark nights, the mother got into her car and drove across town. If all the lights in Spencer's house were out, she opened his bedroom window, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of his bed. Yeah, I know this is really weird. If Spencer was really asleep, she picked Spencer up and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked Spencer, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. Well, that mother, she got older. She got older and older and older. One day she called her son and said, you better come see me because I'm old and tired. So Spencer went to see her. When he came to the door, she tried to sing the song. She sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. But she couldn't finish because she was too old and too tired. Spencer went to his mother. He picked her up and he rocked her back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And he sang this song. I love you forever. I like you for always. As long as my I'm living, my mommy will be. When Spencer came home that evening, he stood at the 
He stood for a long time at the top of the stairs. Then Spencer went into the room where his very new baby daughter was sleeping. Spencer picked her up in his arms and very slowly rocked her back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while he rocked her, he sang, I love you forever. I like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. Friends, I am honored to give these remarks today. It's always titled, A Final Lesson. But upon consideration, I realize that it was more important today for me to share the lessons that I have learned from you. They are not lessons from the canon of the Common Core. They are lessons from our core, lessons from our heart. Casey and Zoe, you have taught me if I ever become paralyzed by boredom, I should fill my life with good works. Devery and Vanessa, what, I, what I've learned from you is that anyone can complain, but the truly remarkable people keep their eyes open to the beauty that surrounds us and looks for the best in everyone. Victoria and Avery, the lesson I will take from you is that we will all become frustrated waiting for others to become the agents of change. We have to remember that we are the change that we seek. Julia, Haley, and Natalie, You've taught me to encourage imagination because our dreams frame a better world. James and Sonia, the lesson I will carry with me from you is that difference is not something you criticize. It is something you appreciate. Brian and boy, what you make me realize is that some people come into our lives as blessings. Others come into our lives as lesson. You assure me that some people are both. Jarrett and Gunner, you have taught me that it is always the right time to do the right thing. Kaya and Christian, You've taught me that I may be incapable of doing great things that will change the world. But you've also taught me that small things done with great, lay, with great love can be the difference in somebody's world. Madison, your lesson is the true character is most accurately measured by how you treat those who can do nothing for you. Serenity and Sarah, what I've learned from you is the ultimate measure of a person is not how she stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where she stands at times of change and controversy. Nick and Josh, what I've learned from you is that we don't turn our backs. We leave no one behind and we pull each other up. Mackenzie, the lesson you've taught me is that every time you smile at someone, you are fulfilling the most important responsibility. You are loving the person in front of you. And who knows? You 
you might just have to smile at an old history teacher who was too old and tired to sing. And you may have to rock him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Class of 2020, congratulations and peace be with you. I realize that this might be the last time I ever get to talk to you. So please remember, you are important. You are loved. And the joy of life is in the journey. Never forget, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. And as long as I'm living, my babies you'll be. Thank you. Class of 2020, you may now turn your tassels. Mr. Whipple, do we have the alma? Do we have an ensemble for the alma mater? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. You're going to get the worst singing voice in Tulsa County. So everybody, we cannot have graduation without the alma mater. So everyone, please rise. And if you don't know how we do this, you'll have to virtual sway because we can't do our traditional this way, that way. So please join me um, in our alma mater. Charles Page High Forever and true to her will be for to our alma mater we owe our loyalty our love is always with thee as onward we will go charles page high forever May she live eternally. <laughs> okay. This year we will not have a traditional recessional, so what I would like to see happen is seniors, please don't forget your diplomas, your envelopes. Those are under your seats for many of you, so be sure and grab that. I would like everyone who is to my left, all of you guys I'm looking at now, you guys go ahead and leave. And you can go through any of the gates on the uh, south end of the stadium. And please exit that way. And people, please go with them. And please, if you want to gather in groups, please do so outside of the stadium. Gr group over here to my right, as soon as this crowd is pretty much off the stadium, you can follow them. Thank you very, very much for being here. Many of you will see you again at 6 p.m.